in Scotland. Every mountain has a name. Names which have changed through the ages, reflecting the myths, stories, and lives of the people who once called them home. Since the first detailed maps of the Highlands were recorded, these words have been frozen in time, giving us a window into the past. I want to learn more from the mountain and place names and what they can tell us about our ancestors and their relationship with the landscape. So stick on your boots and come join me. In this video, I'm on a two-day hiking camping trip in Glen Etive, and I thought I'd share a few things I learned along the way. Glen Etive is situated in the mid-west coast of Scotland and leads into Loch Etive. The shores of this loch has an important place in Irish mythology. In one of the legends that make up the Ulster Cycle, the heroine Deirdre has been held captive for years and is destined to marry a man that she doesn't love. She instead falls in love with a handsome young warrior and they flee from Ireland together and head to Scotland where they land here on the shores of Loch Etive. Here they lived a happy life for a while, hunting, fishing and living off the land. I'm afraid the story doesn't have a happy ending though. Prior to the defeat of the Jacobites, this area was situated between the territories of many clans. To the north, the Macdonalds and Stuarts. To the east, Robertsons and Menzies. To the south, the McIntyres. And the southwest, the McDougals. The first summit I reach is that of Ben Starov, possibly meaning the peak of the rustling noise. Looking southwest from here, you can see the summit of Ben Kruachen meaning Conical Hill. This impressive mountain borders the old territory of Clan McIntyre and also inspired the clan's battle cry. Cruachan! Cattle was the main form of economic wealth in the Highlands for hundreds of years and the art of stealthily stealing your rival clan's cattle was a big part of the Highland warrior culture. These summits and mountain passes would have been well known to these men. On my second day, I ascended the steep slopes of Stob Coyon Alabani, translating as the peak of the Corrie of the Scotsman. Unfortunately, like many of Scotland's place names, the stories attached to them have been lost. So sometimes, all we can do is simply go to these places and use our imagination. I descend southwest to Bialach. Looking southeast from here, you can see the faint ruins of shielings in the glen below. Summer dwellings long since abandoned. I then ascend the steep slope to summit Glasvian Vor, simply translating as a big greenish grey hill. 
Many mountain names are simply a description of their shape and colour in Gaelic, and can sometimes indicate changes in mountain vegetation and land use over time. As I head back down towards camp, I pass an impressive waterfall. The name translates as the Bandit's Waterfall. What a spectacular hiding place for if you're on the run. So thanks so much for watching folks, hope you enjoyed the video. If you found any of this valuable and you would like to support the channel, then you can check out my Patreon page, I'll put a link in the description below. Let me know if you like this video and if I should do more like it, and um, I'll be back with another video next Friday for your Fan Dabby Friday fix.